I'm trying to figure out which one of my kids is gonna make that motherfucking phone call. Cause when I get out the goddamn jail, you better know for sure that's the day your ass dies. Don't call the police on me, ain't that some shit? If you beat your kid's ass more often, you wouldn't have the problems that you're having up at these schools right now. I'm telling you, that's what it is. You see all these kids getting shot in these schools? That's why them kids is shot all up in Colorado. Some punk ass parent letting their motherfucking kid do whatever he want to do. Talking about, I never just walk in his room. That's his privacy. That ain't his privacy. That's my motherfucking house. He ain't pitching in on the rent. He ain't bought no goddamn groceries. That's my house. You just stay here. Don't you ever motherfucking forget it. I wish I would knock on my boy. I got a 15-year-old. I wish the fuck I would knock on his goddamn door. This is how I walk in his room right here. You ain't building a bomb in this motherfucker. My 15-year-old, he a trip too, man. He's a, you got a 15-year-old at your house, you know how they get. Especially when they boys starting to smell himself. Starting to think he's somebody. Kind of tall too. He about 6'1 already. Already know I'm going to have some problems out his ass. Because he tall. Motherfucker think he's... I think he... I ain't sure about it. But I think... He thinking about trying my ass pretty soon. I swear to God, I think, I, I think he got it on his mind. But I done told him, motherfucker, you know, you, you might be 6'1", but you don't weigh but 125 pounds. That is 6'2", weigh 225. I'm going to overpower your motherfucking ass, trust me. You might be quicker, but God damn it, I'm coming. And you can ask the Lord about me. I'm going to try to kill your motherfucking ass. I swear to God I am. I swear, I swear to God. And you know how I know it? Because sometimes I can feel him watching me. Yeah, that's the sign that they're thinking about trying your ass. When you feel them watching, you know, sometimes I'll be in the kitchen cooking and I can feel him watching me. I know when somebody's watching me, you know, because I'm from the projects. So, you know, I'll be in there cooking, you know. And when I catch him looking at me, I give him that up and down look, you know, let him know I don't think he's shit. You got something on your mind, boy? Because, see, the biggest mistake I made with him, I sent his ass to a private school. It's the biggest mistake I ever made with my son. But then, you know, I was just trying to give him a better jump on life than the one I had. I just wanted to give him a better shot. That's a mistake. This is his last goddamn year up at that punk-ass private school. This motherfucker going to a public school next year, goddammit. Martin Luther King Jr. High. That's where the fuck he going. Because I'm tired of this shit. He come in the house all the time. I told him, I said, look, man, you go to the school. You learn your reading, writing, arithmetic, all them skills. Don't bring nothing back to this house. None of that philosophy you done picked up up at that punk ass school. Don't, don't listen to your goddamn teachers with this bullshit, cause that ain't how we running it at my house. The other day he come in, I knew he had some shit on his mind. He, he gonna walk in, you know how they are, when they're young, they got something to say, they, they can't stay still, they be rocking, you know. I'm looking at his ass, so you know, I try to always talk to him in a way, you know, let him know that I'm open, I'm your father, you can always come to me. You know, but I saw him rocking, so I knew he had some bullshit he wanted to say, so I tried to be open, but I just couldn't help it. You know, I said, motherfucker, what? He gonna tell me, this some shit he heard up at the school. He said, Daddy, you can't whoop me no more. He said, from now on, all you can do is ground me. I said, motherfucker, fine.
and close enough to the ground for your punk ass and get the fuck up and clean your room. <laughs>